Some of those same top donors that are reportedly voicing concerns about the future of Walker's campaign and urging a shakeup among his senior staff. The Washington Post first reported that following another poorly reviewed performance by Walker during last night's second Republican debate. The governor had hoped the debate would help to re energize his campaign and boost his sagging poll numbers. And he started with a more aggressive approach, but at the end of the night, he had logged the least amount of minutes speaking of any of the candidates on stage. And now comes word that Walker held a conference call today with his top donors. It's something pollster and political analyst Charles Franklin tells me could be a critical move for Walker at this point. You need to maintain a flow of funds, and to do that, you need to maintain the confidence of your donors that you're still going to be around come January and February. I'm sure the campaign will be working hard to give those assurances. You know, Walker told reporters after the debate that he is shifting his strategy a bit, in his words, putting all of his eggs in the basket of Iowa, and that's where he will be back campaigning again all weekend. Okay, so does he try a different approach for the next debate? Seems yeah. like it's a good idea to change. <laughs> you know, probably sooner than yeah. that, actually. The next debate isn't for another six weeks, and the results of the first two really have not been good for him, so he'll probably be looking for something other than the debates to try to relaunch his campaign. All right, Kent, thank you.